Hello, my name is Mike Stanbury. I'm the CEO and President of Metro Aviation, and I am delighted to be able to start this video off with a deep dive into what Metro is capable of doing in the completion world, both EMS, uh, law enforcement, and uh, even the military type completion stuff. Uh, you know, we've been in this business for 42 years, and it's been a delightful and fun ride. Please take a look at this video and enjoy the ride as we go along on the completion capability of Metro Aviation. So I'm Amy McMullen, Director of Aircraft Configurations at Metro Aviation. I've been here for 12 years this year, um, and my role is to talk with the customer, price out the completions, and then just kind of walk with the customer through the completion. When a customer comes to Metro Aviation for a completion, I normally get a phone call or even a text, you know, can we talk about a completion? When I talk with the customer, we kind of, on a 30,000 foot view, determine what they want, and then I'll put together a scope of work and price it out, uh, work together with the team in the back, the director of maintenance and avionics and the production shop manager and the chief inspector. We just, we look over the um, completion process and, and what's being included, make sure A, we can do it and that it's legal and um, just talk through it. And once we are good with what we've um, put together, we'll submit that to the customer. Always tweaked, never exactly what they want the first time. We pride ourselves in working with the customer to make sure that the end result is exactly what they want when they leave Metro Aviation. H-135 is EMS is typically 85 working days and H-145 or EC-145 is typically about 95 working days. Uh, law enforcement completions are special, depends on the in integration process and everything we have to integrate into the aircraft. It could be 105 to 115 working days for the completion process on those. Uh, my name is Jake Bogarts. I'm the production program manager here at Metro Aviation. This shop specializes in sheet metal, fiberglass, honeycomb, and machine parts. Anything from comp panels to, to floors to medical mounts for defibrillators and heart monitors. In addition to the production of parts here, we also design, engineer, um, and source a lot of our own components. So, if it can be designed here, it can usually be built here. In addition to building and substantiating all the parts, we also do all the STC certification work here. So all the test plans, cert plans, everything gets done within this production shop. After the parts are completed here, they're sent over for a quality inspection and then given the stamp of approval and sent down to the floor where they're installed in various EMS and law enforcement aircraft. Sean Bruton, uh, Director of Maintenance, uh, Part 145 Repair Station. So right here is our last uh, C2E. It comes in, we disassemble the aircraft, strip it completely down as you can see behind us, and they start working the sheet metal provisions. Then they go into working the uh, avionics provisions and then we get everything external completed. And once everything external is completed, then we roll it into the paint shop. It's usually in the paint shop for about two weeks. And then when it leaves the paint shop, it comes back out. And then we complete everything and get it ready for the flight line. All right, what you see here, this is the second portion, the second step in the process that we have uh, after everything's been stripped down. You can see all the wires have been laid in. You see all the orange tie wraps. Um, you see the external provisions like the oxygen provisions on the side. Uh, the wire strike's been done. The antennas have been installed. The guys in the back are doing the, are doing the pre-fit for the EMS interior. They, they're gonna pre-fit the floor. They're gonna put brackets in, fit all the interior panels. The avionics installations, you see all the wires that they have up. Uh, all the, again, all the orange tie wraps are everywhere that wires have been laid. Basically, they are how they fix the wires temporarily until they get final installation. Um, you see the avionics crew in there making all the magic happen. <laughs> Hello, I'm uh, Ronald Robinson with Metro Aviation. I'm in the avionics uh, department. I'm an avionics technician. 
Uh, right here we have a overhead for EC-145. Basically they come in, we take them out of the helicopters and we bring them here. They get over here to Chris and he modifies them for each individual aircraft. Next up, we have a medical junction box. This is uh, used for all of our medical installations as far as uh, the lights, the suction pump, the air pump, oxygen. This is pretty much the brain for that. In this area, you have the autopilot harness that is for the new fourth axis or the third three axis uh, autopilot that we're installing in the EC 145s. We get them out here once they come in. We QC them to make sure everything is properly put into the each the correct pins. The wire numbers are what they say in the drawings. In this general area, you have all of our wires that we have. We have our wire label making machine where we actually make our own wires. They don't come from anywhere else, that we do them in-house. My name is Kevin Knighton. Uh, I'm a paint shop supervisor. I've been with Metro for 26 years. When aircraft comes in for paint, we bring it over here. This is our prepping area. We get all the sand and all the dusty part done over here, keep the dust off from our paint shop side. These parts are parts to this aircraft in here getting ready to be cleared. We, we get all of our parts prepped, painted white, and then we get our aircraft and we get it painted white and then we assemble it to do our striping and then we take it all back apart. These parts have come off. We concentrate on getting the aircraft back out onto the floor so the mechanics and avionics team can get back on it. And then once the aircraft gets complete, we'll get back on the parts and get those put out on the floor. So when we get an aircraft in, we usually get about 10 days from the time it comes in till the time it goes out. Some aircraft are a little more difficult on the paint scheme. They'll give us a little bit more time, but it's on average about 10 days. This is the final step in the process. Uh, this is what we call going under the hoist. This is when they get it in here and they do all the final fit and finish and final checkouts. Um, this is the point where they put the blades on it. Uh, if we have the gear off, the gear goes under it. Uh, we, we, we put blades, cowlings, every, every, all, the, all the final fit and finish and get it ready to fly. This is an Airbus EC-145C2E. Uh, this is what it looks like about 105 days later when we get done with it. Complete paint, interior, autopilot, EFA system. This is the final product of what we do.